Well, that's, that's the thing. I mean, we have a DOJ whistleblower who is alleging that there is a discriminatory policy in effect right now right. at the DOJ voting rights section, and uh, no one seems to give a darn, Kirsten, uh, including Congressman Sherman. Well, you, I mean, I, I'm sorry, you can actually put me in the same category of people who don't really give a darn, because I looked at the video. The guy wasn't really intimidating people. They were walking past him and voting. So I don't really understand how he's being intimidated. Second right. of all, with, with respect, let me stop you on said, your first point. With, with respect, you don't seem to know what you're talking about. Because, well, I think I do, Megan. Well, I don't think and, you and, do, and, and, because, and the other thing read, is, because the unlike you apparently, Kirsten, I have read the testimony that was given before the U.S. The, Commission the of Civil Rights. The Department of Justice have you? got an injunction against him. What, you? what do you want him to do? Have you read the testimony? I, don't need to, I, I talked to the Department of Justice at length about this. Have they got you an injunction the against the guy that no, was given Megan, to the U.S. It, Commission it, on Civil Rights. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. They got so an injunction against him. No, but they got an injunction against him. You don't know what you're talking about. You clearly don't know what you're talking about. They got an injunction against him. Whether Congressman Sherman should have Did been they get an injunction, this or not. Megan? But you cannot debate Megan, why about what you happened my at question? that polling station, Kirsten, because why the witness... Why won't you answer my question? What's your question? I do care. They got an injunction against him. What more do you want them I'll to do? I'll tell you. I'll tell you, because you clearly don't know the facts of this case. They got an I, injunction... I actually do Let know. me finish. They got an injunction against Samir Shabazz, barring him from appearing at any polling station right. forevermore any place. Okay. They then downgraded their own injunction after they won it and said, you know what, we've changed our minds. He's only barred from going to Philly and only through 2012. Moreover, they got an injunction against two other members of the Black Panther Party and the party itself. They then got okay. rid of that injunction and all together. Megan. So don't tell me that they did all oh. they could. And don't tell me there was no voter. I'm curious there was no if you were outraged when the Bush administration was the downgrading all of their, their investigations. Was. Sorry, Were you? Ahead. The Bush administration, the GAO did a report oh, back to the Bush. of the Bush, okay, administration. Back to the Bush administration. Oh, were you upset and outraged about the discrimination there? Yes. About how they weren't pursuing cases? Yes, I don't remember and that. I at, yes, as a matter and of I don't fact, remember, I had and the I don't head of the voting rights section under the Bush administration. Congressmen right, because listen. they were dismissing cases against black, you know, where black people were being intimidated. You, this is, I mean, this, I, this is not effective. You don't, you don't answer one charge oh, by pointing to the other I administration. Did we'll get to that no, in a minute. We will get to not answering the charge with I'll give you the chance and then you're talking the over me because you're listen. talking over me. Be no, I'm actually, you keep I'm actually you. challenging you on what you're saying, and you won't let me talk. Go ahead. The minute I the minute I challenge you, you tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Because you don't. You just want people to come on and just tell, just agree with you no, that what you've been I doing and the way people. you've been completely like doing the scary black man thing. You know, the man standing outside, it's so horrible. You know, this guy was was one person. There was an injunction against him. The injunction was enforced. The Civil Rights Division decided that there wasn't a case to pursue against anyone else. That's have completely you, on the up and up. Have you? There's nothing fall, wrong with do, that. Are you like Congressman Sherman? Do you know anything about this case? Oh, Megan, that's that's your response. Did you listen I mean, to the, the DOJ I whistleblower I don't interview? agree with you. Because I don't agree with you. Let, answer my question. I don't know anything. Did you listen to the interview with Jay Christian Adams? Yes. Yes, okay. I listened to it. The other so thing you, is, let, let you know, me, the let, idea this Listen, I'll run the interview. I'll ask the questions, and then I want to get your response. Do, do, you, do you dismiss his allegation that that case was dismissed not because of legal reasons, but because of a policy at the Department of Justice that they will not pursue cases in the voting rights section where the defendant is black and the victim is white? Yeah, I do. I, I think he's a conservative basis? activist posing as a whistleblower. That's what I think. Okay, so, okay? so because and you think I, he has an agenda, you dismiss it. I cannot believe that this one case, after all of the cases that were dismissed during the Bush, dismissed during the Bush administration, is getting the amount of attention that it's getting. I find it absolutely shocking. Let me tell like, you I, why. I, just, I cannot believe it. Let me tell you why. Because the voting place is sacrosanct. And unlike you, I Not, have... Let, let, me the Bush let me finish. And unlike you, I have read the testimony before the U.S. Depart the Commission on Civil Rights. And Bartle Bull, a lifelong Democrat who worked for Robert F. Kennedy, who was given a civil rights award by Ted Kennedy, who happened to be at the polling station that day, testified that this was the worst case of voter intimidation. He has but ever, Megan, I didn't say it wasn't voter intimidation. Let you're me putting finish. words in my mouth. Let, let you're me putting finish. words in my mouth. I didn't uh, don't say make it me wasn't cut your voter mic. intimidation. Don't make me cut your mic. Oh, okay. Testified ahead, that this was the worst case of voter intimidation he had ever seen in his life. And moreover, he and another uh, some witness who was there named Chris Hill testified that they not only saw an African-American poll watcher terrified. I'm not disagreeing with you. About what, what was done to him. 
yeah. that if he came outside, he was going to get hurt, but also testified that at least three, perhaps more voters left the poll because of the man okay. with the baton out in front and his cohort who were physically blocking Megan, people from I'm entering the polling station. I'm not disagreeing with that. You're but not. You you're saying you're it's no big deal. You're no. I'm saying that it is not. It should not result in the hysteria that I have seen of what you just showed of the Wait, government Brad being like spun feel up over one case where there was an injunction. I mean, it's, you're saying that they didn't do anything, and that's not true. I, what I that man did that. was wrong. I, I did I, not I, say that. I, I agree anything. with you on that. All I right. agree that what he did was wrong. I just don't. I don't understand how the Obama administration is being portrayed as somebody who hasn't done anything when they have, and they didn't pursue a case that you're you setting up a straw man. Pursue, you're setting up a straw that man. You keep saying that there's some racist. Excuse plot. me. You keep saying that they're being portrayed as not having done anything when they did. That hasn't been anyone's allegation. Certainly not a question I've raised. What I am saying is that they downgraded. They snatched. D defeat from the jaws of victory because they had an injunction <laughs> barring these people from pursuing this conduct at any point forward. These these three members of the New Black Panther Party and the party itself, and then they got rid of it. Okay, and the, and but the more well, important thing, yeah. Kirsten, is the testimony from this DOJ whistleblower. And I can tell you that he says if the DOJ would let the other lawyers in the Civil Rights Department come out and testify, which it won't, they would back him up. That there is now a policy, and he's got names: Julie Fernandez, a political appointee within the DOJ, who came out and issued a mandate. That the law would not be enforced equally, which every attorney agrees. If that is the, the policy in place, it is illegal. Does that not concern you? And if you, you asked all? him about when he was in the Bush administration and how politicized that office was, and how they only hired conservatives, and how there's an entire GAO report, so, and you, you he don't was answer. part of that whole thing. So two wrongs no, make a right. No, I'm just curious. Do you ask him about that? You have him on, and you interview him. Do you, you know ask what? him about his role in that? You know what? Two wrongs make a right. That's your argument. And by no, the way, if you watch the interview, right. if you watch the interview, I have said it's I wrong. Have you keep him. twisting my words around. You keep twisting my words okay. around. I've said it's wrong. I'm asking you, why don't you ask him about the extensive GAO report I where did. they did dismissed I cases? I asked him. And, and there's missing information about why yeah. they dismissed you, the you cases didn't, you didn't where watch. they didn't pursue them. You know, and you don't ask him about that, but you're enraged over one case you where can, there was an injunction gotten against the guy. You know what? It, the it's Obama administration more helpful to the viewers if the next time you come back on. Right. You have your facts. My apologies oh, to Andrea and Kirsten. I'm thanks sorry for coming that you, on. Because someone disagrees with you, they don't have the facts. No, you can disagree all you want as long as you have your facts right, which you don't.